Okay, here we are back in Tinkercad, and we're going to go to Sign In, not Join Now, but Sign In. When it loads, it'll ask you to put your username in, but you're not going to do that. You're going to go down here to Sign In Using Social Providers, and we're going to click on Google. Use your school address. And um, I'm thinking most of you will land right here. Wherever you are, you're going to come over and go to Learn. Now, you have starters, lessons, or projects. And we started different ones um, yesterday. I'm going to have you go to the basic starters. So we're going to click on starters and place it as the first one. And so here we are in starter and it actually, I had already done it, so it rewarded me. But it says, I'm gonna come over here and right over here is the instructions. It says, place it. Welcome to Tinkercad. Um, you can build all kinds of things and the instructions are right here. So you follow these instructions. It says, find the box in the shapes and um, drag it to the work plane. This is the work plane continue to the next step. So I'm going to click this and put it there and click next. And that's all you do for number one. Then I'm going to click done and it says lessons completed, but I'm going to go on to the next lesson because I'm going to ask you to do all of them. <laughs> but of course I've already done them all, so I'll reset this one. Okay, so this one's called view it and it says Left click and drag anywhere on the view cube to see how it changes. This is the view cube. So if I go right here, I can see the top. I can go to the front. I can go to the right and it'll show you. I can even flip it over and see the bottom because sometimes people, when they design, they accidentally push things through the work plane, which you really don't want to do. So I have moved it around. It should know that I've moved it around enough. I'm going to click next and hopefully I've done it enough. Oh, nope. Now I've got a zoom so I can do it with, um, I'm rolling, but you can also do it like this and zoom in and then you can go up and down and I can go back home. That's always um, helpful. I'm going to zoom out, zoom in and then next. Um, now it says press and hold the right mouse while moving your mouse to rotate your view. You don't have a right click, so you're going to hold down your Alt and click. And then you'll be able to roll it like this. So when you're done, click Next Step. And there, now I've moved it enough. The next one says Lesson Complete. I'm going to go on and it's Move It. So it says let's move the shapes around, continue to the next step. Click and drag each box um, to one of the boxes. So I'm going to do that. Just click and drag. And that's all you had to do for that one. I'm going to click done and continue. For this one, it's asking us to rotate it. This one's a little harder. We're going to say um, we're going to rotate the boxes so they end up in the orange. So I'm going to click here. Oh, well, first let me let me read it. Um, select a box by left clicking on it. This will enable the shape handle. Rotate your view to get the best view. Use the curved arrows to rotate the shape 45 degrees to match the hint. Continue to the next step. Oh, it's because I already did it once. Okay, so let me turn it. That one's done. I'm going to click on this one and turn it. And I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to turn it. Oops, wait, did I turn it the right way? Oh, I got to change the view. Oops not as easy as it looks. 
there. Okay, so now let me go back home and see how it looks pretty good. Oh, maybe it doesn't think it looks good enough. There we go, okay. And size it up. The last, uh, this might not be the last one. Um, we have to make, I have to take these and I'm gonna to try to make them the size of the orange. So I'm gonna click on the white handles because the white handles um, help me um, move it larger. Okay, so if I want it to go into, right out to the edge, I'm gonna just drag, click and drag. But it probably be would be best if I looked at this from a different side and maybe go back to the top and click and drag. And now I have to do this one. Now when I do this one, um, I don't know whether it says to do this in the instructions or not. I'm gonna hold down the shift and click and drag and the, si the sides are gonna move together. Let's see if I can get this part out. Let me look at the, ooh, that one doesn't look like it's the right, sh I got it all the way out. There we go, whoops. Okay, and then this one, and I need to make it a little bit shorter, whoops, a little bit, not shorter. I need to make it shorter, but I, I didn't need to make it that way, so I'm gonna come up here and take it down. Now I'm gonna see if I've got it all done. That one is not quite done. They don't want you to be, you don't have to be exactly perfect, but they do want it pretty close to get you the confetti. Okay, one more. I think one more. Group it. Okay, so this one says we're going to build with basic shapes, which is how you make things. Um, we're gonna select the box by clicking on it on the left. With both shapes selected, click the group button on the taskbar. So these two are selected. I'm gonna click and select them, and then I'm going to group them together. So now they're all, it's all red. So if you've grouped it so successfully, it's all red. Then select the box on the right. So I'm gonna drag and click over it, and, and so it's all selected, and I'm gonna come up and group it. So as you can see, one of them was a hole, one of them was a hole and one of them was just the cylinder. So, I got it. Align it, this is an important lesson. Okay, so we're going to al try to align these shapes. They're all in the air. Okay, select the box shapes by holding shift on the keyboard and, and clicking on each box shape. So I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna click on this one and this one, and this one. So now they're all selected. Um, the align handles will appear after we click, we have to go up to the align button. So here's the align button. Okay, and so we want to align them together. Together. If I hover my mouse over it, you can see how they align. Then it says by clicking any of the alignment handles, to move the shapes into an alignment pattern. So we're gonna to try to align them to the first box. So let's move them up and let's move them over. And we can even move them on top of each other if we wanted. I don't know if we're supposed to do that, but I did. There. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the project page. You're gonna look right over here and we're gonna go back to learn. And then I'm gonna ask you to go to lessons and it'll say see all lessons. Then we are going to look for, where is it? We're gonna look for the key ring letters. This is the next one I want you to work on. You're going to follow the instructions just like we did, just like I did it with you. You can see I've already worked on one. Um, but follow the instructions 
And when you're done, turn it in, export it as an STL, and also take two screenshots and turn those in. Good luck.